and it's like uh, I mean uh, Joe Biden's made claims of you know stopping the whole idea of like you could go bankrupt and you still owe your student uh, debt. Uh, he's campaigned on the idea of like you will you know, always you know, owe your student debt, dude. What the fuck are you talking about? I just said he's campaigning on trying to change that. Wow, to let people bankrupt out. Yeah, of paying your oh, students. Yeah, to wipe I'm their student debt if they go bankrupt. I'm yeah. actually yeah. totally in favor of that shit. Like, you know, I know some people are going to... They made it so hard for so many years. That's interesting. Sorry, you caught my attention. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm yeah. totally in yeah. favor of that, even as a more right-wing economic kind of person, is that, like, it, I respect you immensely if you can go up and say, hey, look, I fucked up. I need a reset. And if you're willing to do that, they should be able to bankruptcy out of that shit. And they're not allowed yeah, to. Yeah, but, okay, so so hang on a second. Here's the... the um... I already talked about it. Yes, it can be abused. Right, that's that's the issue. That's the concern, which I understand. Because frankly, if you're gonna do, quite frankly, look at Donald Trump. Okay, the couple of the times that he's gone bankrupt, not all of them, but a couple of times that he's filed bankruptcy, literally, he bought a failing company, bankrupt the company, reset all of its debt. Okay, my student loan payments are like six hundred a fucking month. And I don't even work. Isn't, isn't, isn't that a Trust greater? greater I went to grad issue? school. I owed fifty five thousand dollars when I got done with grad school. Okay, I get I owe it. about I'm... sixty right so now. So if yeah. we if we compare the two, it's like uh, buying a, uh, a company and then having it uh, uh, declaring bankruptcy because of that versus like uh, going to a university for an education and then that debt bankrupting you. Which one of those seems like worse to you? But which my, one? My which one of those individuals? Is, would my you point help? is, Wiggle. The concern is that people, if they if they were willing to take the hit to their credit, would load up on everything they could that they could possibly have forgiven in, in a bankruptcy and just go, eh, not my problem. And don't forget, also with student loans, people can borrow money on that on student loans and get cash no, it's, in it's hand. Ne it's nefarious to 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 want an education. No, no, no. What I'm talking the, about, you can take a student whole, loan yeah, out. What I'm saying is, is, is you can take a student loan out and is get only required in a very few ways. Very wait, much. Wait, 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 hold on. Before we continue, I got a question. What types of loans specifically can you um, get out of via bankruptcy? Like none, unless like, you show. Oh, what's you also called... can't get out of. You also can't get out of IRS tax tax debt as well. So, because my yeah. or what type of debt? Not loans. What type of debt can you get out? Because, like, my concern would be, okay, with something like a car, right? If I buy a car and I'm like, oh, wait, shit, I can't pay that car payment. And then I declare head. bankruptcy. The bank can come take <laughs> that money to get a car. Back. Correct. That's collateral. Hold on. Correct. Hold on. Hear me okay. in, yeah. Yeah. So with in, a student debt, I can go get the education, declare bankruptcy, and then I've already got, like, the, the thing I paid for, I've already gotten. But now I don't correct. have to pay it's the It's immaterial. Money. Correct. Oh, education is immaterial. There's no collateral. No. And so that would be no. a concern. But you but, can't bankrupt student loans. You can't. You I'm know. saying talking about it. We're talking about it. the theoretical because that's what's being proposed. I'm saying that that is something where you get a product that you promise to pay for later, and then you're saying now I don't have to pay for it anymore. But you've already received the product yeah, and you get to keep it, the product. It, it, right. Of that. Just, it, what okay. what he's saying is that education is immaterial. It can't be taken back from you. Like you yeah. can't, you know, yeah. fucking memory wipe yeah. what I learned because yeah. I didn't yeah. pay for Men it. Men in black style, dude. Yeah, it's, Not, it's uh, one of the best things that you could pay for with your money. It's like it's like we should have some is kind of like mass education. For, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. So it's like it's like a um because you have this education, right? Um, even if you declare this bankruptcy, it's like if you get out of this, if you if you reform yourself or what have you, and then you live as a tax paying citizen for the rest of your life, for the rest of your life, it's almost like you'd pay that back just. Just through the uh, the jobs that you would have. Yeah, but by the time what I bought be... that car, Wiggle, you're in charge. I gotta step away for a moment. Fuck, dude, I like okay. talking. Can I can I propose <laughs> no, an alternative? Talk. I I mean I've been talking. I'm still moderating. It's just uh, can I propose an alternative to loans for college? Like, yeah. What the fuck is the I've talked about this before, and I'm gonna talk about it again because I think it's really fucking important that we do this. Uh, and I'm always, always, always a proponent of free market solutions. Income share agreements. Income share agreements are agreements with investors that they are going to pay for your college, and in return, you okay. owe them X amount of your income for Y amount of years. That number is determined by some actuary based on whatever degree it is that you're going to get, based on where you're going, whatever. 
Um, but the risk is on the, this is not, this is not, by the way, um, indentured servitude. You are not beholden to that company other than owing them the money that you owe them. Uh, and again, X amount of income for Y amount of years doesn't have to be in the field that you got that degree in. It doesn't matter. That's the risk that the actuaries are calculating. So if you end up working at McDonald's for 12 bucks an hour over the next 15 years, for the, that's it. That's what the company gets back. That's the risk that they took. Well, what do you want to say to that, Dalton? Uh, I would actually agree in IPA at the fundamental level of letting the free market, but I, there is a free market solution. Just low, just nuke the cost. I would say uh, uh, online education is already doing that. True. We also so, need to get the government out of state. I have no, I have student nothing. loans increased. In, in, we look at uh, like the price of college uh, went up. It's when the government got involved in student loans. Because if you're a business owner and you guaranteed me that every single person that you're finding, that you're going to be is your customer. Sorry. Um, like I really jumbled. If, if you own a business and someone told you that the government was going to guarantee every single one of your customers have financing, how much would you charge for every year your services? The answer is however much you fucking please. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I mean, my sister had. No, no, no. Fuck you. The answer the is OGBs, choose a boys. better job because that's and who girls. gets the call Sorry. to do the next job. Uh, what? What? PK? GG's. I'm out. I gotta go. That's it, man. I'm gonna head out to Lance. My sister had two hundred. See you, Justin. Justin. My, my sister... performance matters. That's all I was trying to say is performance matters. Yeah, so and... I, I I would see that being like a good solution, um, IPA, uh, or but it's it seems more of like a treatment the more you look at it because what if uh, uh, companies are discriminatory in some fashion? What if they look at only certain individuals to help out with these programs? Uh, if the government isn't involved. Then, uh, I mean, I it, think you can legislate that, right? Like, I mean, you know, equal opportunity sorts of things, CEO. right? You, you can't, Welcome you know, if somebody chat. makes an application for said agreement, you can together. only say no based on certain things, right? Not obviously uh, like immutable not characteristics. Not you and I, but all these people and me. Yeah, See, but there's ways around that as well. So it's like See, if I... my sister got lucky. While she was off going to college, what did I do? I worked, started my own business. She had $230,000 in student loan debt. How do you think she paid that off? I don't know, Tigar. She asked you, and you were really nice one day. I paid off her student loan debt. I also paid off my mother's student loans. Holy shit. She's an RN. Okay. She, here in Indiana, they make you go through I was a lot a therapist. of- I I only had like $55,000 in student loans. I, I don't understand. It's because she was going to Purdue University. Oh. Uh, Name brand, co like expensive. Purdue University. Yeah. Okay. She had, she had the $30,000, the not 30000 the $230,000 in debt. I had been in my business for five years. I had the money. I'm like, you know what? I'm sick and tired of your credit score tanking. You live with me pretty much. So does mom. Because they quite literally, all they do is they pay the utility bills. I just pay the property tax now, so it works out for me. I paid off her student loan. And then mom's like, hey, pay off mine too. I'm like, uh, how much is yours? Paid off mom's because mom raised me as a single parent. And how much college do I have to, when I started up my business, how much college do I have now? Chad, Chad, sit, fall out of the chair. Hey, you, you want to talk about nuking costs? I'm looking at the online... Uh, the chairs, website so, where I'm looking at tuitions, I can get a Georgia Institute of Technology master's degree in analytics for ninety nine hundred dollars. Yeah, because they're not. The whole thing is is on. Yes, yeah, Dalton <laughs> is right. Online colleges are nuking the price of college due to the simple fact you do not have. You don't have a building. Do don't yep. have don't have dormitories. Don't have a building. Teachers are not teaching in a fucking classroom, which saves the teachers' fucking money. No oh, books. Stop it. Yeah, the, the cost just gets nuked. <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> problem solved. You're quite literally talking about taking a shit on the physical aspect of, oh, hey, I need these books. I got to take out a student loan. Oh, how much are these books? Half my fucking student loan. How much is the classes? The other fucking half. But you go online. Okay. Your okay. books are online. 
you're paying hardly pretty, anything pretty, for them. Pretty. The teachers awful. are teaching from their fucking home, or they're teaching, or they're having the program fucking teach you. Quite literally, like Dalton said, online college is nuking the fucking cost. I, yeah, I, I mean, is online oh, college God. has been around for a while, and college well, is still fucking but don't expensive. You think, but don't you think we should oh, push I... more towards online, or the campuses and that should be competitive with online teaching? I, I mean, a lot of it is largely something that I think we could... How do you force that? I, I, I think a lot of this is largely something that we could address by just, like, subsidizing or completely covering the cost of public college. Um, or, or and technical schools. I, I think that that's something our our government is very capable of we, doing, and we would do that. Uh, well, but it would completely nuke, uh, to use your terminology, the cost of both online no, and has. offline college. Um, no, it hasn't. I mean, I'm, I'm a, I I, I went to a state school. Okay, I, I went to a state. Is... Well, I went to a state university, Sorry, and I still wound up with like thirty thousand uh, dollars in debt. So like, it's right? we we. Maybe we have these programs for like people who are uh, straight A genius students or whatever, uh, where they can go to college for free. But for the vast majority of people in this country, no, we don't have that program yet. Biden has a good plan. The, the, the he does. Difference he does. Between the fundamental difference, though, is that's at the cost of taxpayers, and well, that's yeah, where but, that's yeah. where people are going to have the so, objection. That's yeah, but it it helps us all if we have a more educated workforce. Yeah, I you mean, no how it happens. We can become yeah, more whether productive it's online or in a classroom. People but again, that productive. comes. Um, but again, it's... that comes down to people like me. If you're gonna tax me more, I'm gonna say fuck you, and I'm gonna leave the country, and you ain't gonna get shit from me. Like okay. I said, where are you gonna go? Okay. You're gonna go somewhere with socialized medicine, aren't you? Okay, so t Tiger, no. when you when you leave the country, what happens to your properties? I could have a property management company run it for ten percent of the income. All right. And then and all can we, I'm... can we can we tax them? You could tax the property management company, but you could only okay. tax. But you could only they're only getting ten percent of my money. They're not being taxed well, for both. You're not living within live the in. United States, but you're profiting off the United States, is what you're saying. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Like I said, I pay fifty three percent of my gross income in taxes. So you would Bullshit. do that. You would do that if we raised taxes, so kids could get a better education. Because you if didn't you want were that. to, if you were to take sixty five percent of my income, this is, this is I would an bounce arbitrary out. line that every individual is going to set. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm saying that individuals like Tigar are uh, at a detriment to this country and uh, at this to this nation. If, uh, if, the policies if you are leave, individuals leave, know just policies because yes. you don't want to pay for others' education, that to me is just so outside of my worldview and how I was raised, and I was raised in the same country as him. Let me let me clarify, Wiggles. So you were raised in the same country I was raised in. I paid sixty three thousand dollars in taxes last year. At least if you support a kid in Africa, you get a fucking letter that tells me how they're doing. Okay, <laughs> hold, uh, hold on. like. Uh, let me I, I have a line. I have an arbitrary line in the sand. Is it is it sixty three grand? No, it's higher than that. But I still, mean, it, it's I, an arbitrary line. I mean, I, yeah, I like I, you, I IPA. Just, I like you. I like that you're a fellow Minnesotan. But like, if we ever get to that point, like, yeah, you're welcome to leave. I, like, I I think I think that if we lose some rich people, the overall benefit is generally massive. If we have a more educated population. Uh, when it both when it comes to businesses and when it comes to uh, well, when those else. educated people become rich themselves, you don't think they're going to leave the country too? Well, I think that they'll understand the benefits. I think of they'll having understand the value. Here's, here's my thing: if, if you could show me a direct one to one, right? So people have people have made the argument to me about like a single payer healthcare system or even a multi health multi care healthcare mm -hmm. system. There is a direct one to one where I actually spend less money year over year right mm -hmm. show me the one-to-one -one of of my cost savings of paying for everyone's college okay well i don't have now, that data right available but i'll try and find it I'm i will sure clarify if you raise my taxes two percent i don't care to do free college but i want it linked i want that money linked to only specific classes I don't, don't want to. I, I do I, I, not want to pay for some dumb motherfucker to go to drama fucking class and get a yeah, master's like, degree. I'm, I'm, I'm fine that with they're that. never you gonna. You don't think use. underwater basket weaving is a legitimate <laughs> degree? Come on. <laughs> no. 
I'm fine with that. Should, like, I think that the, the cool. I think that what I I stated at first was that this is uh to you know the state's benefit. Like uh they they're gonna they're gonna acquire something from you well, through you, your tax the money you pay in taxes. You know, so it's in their best interest to uh, subsidize the degrees that help them the most. And I would, I would also I would agree. also argue by the way that yeah maybe subsidizing a drama degree does have a good effect for the economy overall. Like Hollywood generates a shit ton of money for us and we export our culture all around the world surely there's some value to those drama degrees right from the data we've seen most of the degrees that we like most people colloquially know as the social studies degree a lot of them uh there is a bunch of economists that are uh, operating out of um uh i forget which university but they they mostly deal in the austrian and chicago school it is study uh, well, actually, it wasn't even a study. They actually went to a website. I have to look that up now, actually. Now I'm remembering. It's been a while. But anyway, uh, they they looked up how much money they got from the degree versus how much they paid for it. Turns out a lot of the study degrees, you actually operate as a net loss as an investment if you went into those degrees, whereas most of the STEM fields is a net benefit. And I think like the, the best degree, uh, and this was about a year ago when I heard about this, is like petroleum engineering. By the way, like, this, data, this data is not new. This data already exists. These income share agreements, these are the actuaries and the and the and the uh, investment companies or, or investors, whoever they are. They already have this data. They already know that these are the people that we're going to fund, that these are the degrees that are most likely to net us the return that we're looking for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so my, my thing would be like, uh, why? What is the main issue here is that we want something done with, uh, like, with the nation, and it's not happening, uh, naturally. It's just not happening naturally, and so, uh, uh we want we want to pay for this, and then the way to pay for this on a government level and impose this is through taxes, and then you have to raise taxes in some way. So, uh, I I see I see what you guys are saying, and that makes perfect sense to me. Is that if there's certain degrees or certain things that aren't really in the state's interest. Like if I want people to be educated for the reason of uh, acquiring more uh, tax revenue over time, like, uh, and these degrees are linked with uh, not creating that, not creating the right opportunity, then fine, you know, choose, pick and choose the ones that uh, yield the best benefit to the country. And that's fine by me. I don't, I don't, I don't think government has the capability of deter making that decision. Well, right. so, so, so guys, guys I, I, I think, I think yeah. when it comes to education, for example, I think it's it's a, it's weird for us to draw this weird arbitrary line where we're like collectively, yeah, you know what? The state for 60 years or so, uh, not, pff, wow, I don't know why that came out of my mouth, but the state, we have public schools. We educate people from grade one until grade, or even before then, kindergarten until uh, grade 12. So like why not just extend that entire process by another four years? What? Like, uh, I, that, that, I guess that's one of the things that I don't understand year. because we, we have a bunch of data and I, I dropped a couple studies in the politics channel if you guys want to take a look, but we have a bunch of data on how uh, public investment in educating the general workforce generally raises wages and the quality of living for everyone involved in society. So, like, I, I oh, guess I, I'm, I'm I I... I'm hearing your arguments, but like the general right. benefits are undeniable. Well, here comes the multiplier effect. Sorry, Keynesian argument. Uh, sorry. I hate the Keynesians. Anyway, uh, the thing is, is actually you also have to put in quality. Uh, one of the things that's also been determined is when, if you rank, I forget where they rank actually the schooling internationally but in the u.s public schooling uh, is actually considered pretty bad and all that whereas the private schooling especially secondary education is basically a gold star but but do you know it's why bullshit. that is that's, that's more a function of our education system that it is it's a well, function I, of fucking religion too well no i i largely think that it's a function of uh how we fund our schools in the united states because the funding for schools largely derives problem. from pop property taxes and if you live in a poor area your schools are going to be shitty and we don't really have ways of stopping that from happening call, yet. I'm wait, call wait, a wait. Jack, are you I'm saying that poor bit. people go to I'm... poor schools funded by poor property taxes? Weird. Yeah, I worked, and I, I, and I, I worked I, for the Department I, of Education. I worked for the Department of Education. Like, 
Well, God I, damn it. Well, and I, I think and that we and, and the this. money, the way it was distributed, like, is exactly the opposite of what you just fucking said. The, yeah, the, the yeah. schools that need, need it most get a little more funding, and maybe that gets spun off and somebody eats it. But, like, the system is, the, the mathematical algorithm of the system is not broken. Greed well, then, is broken. But, well, okay, I mean, whatever, whatever the case is, I think oftentimes a lot of inner city schools, we could be doing a lot better by investing in them instead of... Also, look at No Child Left Behind. This is, no this Child is, Left Behind was a blatant, like, just... This is a different... What? It's in your shaking it's your head. It's a terrible law. It's a terrible law. Yeah, it's no, I, I, that, and, and, and that's a huge contributing factor to the problem with inner city schools and why they're so right. shitty. Mm -hmm. right. right. How about this? Remove No Child Left Behind and fire the lazy teachers that actually don't fucking teach their students. Well, I mean, so I, that's what happened in Arkansas. His name was Bill Clinton, and he implemented teacher testing, and they fired like 30 or 40 percent of the fucking teachers in the state because they couldn't even fucking pass a basic test in their own subject. Shit, I'm Clinton, for that. Clinton was a badass that way in Arkansas. I grew up there. You know, I was born in 71, yeah. so I'm a little old. But uh, I say test the fucking teachers. They can't pass their own fucking subject. Uh, Bye. This, this public <laughs> yep. education, bringing yep. it to public education at that well, level for like a K through twelve is like, is it's, it's a different, it's a different animal than talking about uh, higher education. Well, like, I, no, I agree. I, I agree, I agree, with agree with you because too. higher education typically is more for job training and and yeah. Well, so I I agree with you, and that's but that's like we know the benefits of public education from K through twelve. And we also know that the more educated you get after that, the gen generally the higher quality of life people have in all of society around you. So, like, but it's a no-brainer that the have, government should be subsidizing these to things. Dalton's to Dalton's point, greater, not degree. necessarily that might depend on the degree that you get. Right. It, so, I mean, it might depend on the degree that you, you get. And the degree you get might not help you jack shit because you might be a fucking moron. Um, so, like, it, it depends on a whole lot of other factors um as well so like uh, it depends but as an overall trend we know that more education increases the quality of life in our civilization and that's why we you know 120 years ago or whatever uh, agreed hey let's have a public uh, education system it's just that now the educational needs of our general population have come to such a point where like most jobs you know are like hey have a bachelor's degree or you can't we're, we're not even going to consider you so maybe maybe it's to our benefit now at this point, a hundred some years after public education was started, maybe we should just expand that a little bit. You also have the problem. I just wanted of... to say I love your hair. I wish I still had the long hair. I had hair to my ass. <laughs> I I, I really nose. love it. No, it, and, and, well, having good points throw out too. Thank but you. yeah, love the hair. That's all. Okay. Well, what do you think, Dalton? Oh, sorry. I'm actually being distracted right now by Sherm because Sherm's weird. Anyway, <laughs> I'm, I'm having to like. I just saw something. I now I'm trying to memory hold it. Give me a minute. Uh, sure. No worries. Uh uh. Oh God. All right. Anyway. Oh, what was I saying? Oh, um. Here's another thing: is you want to subsidize the schools. Okay. Here's another problem: is you want to subsidize degrees. <sighs> My question is, is it also comes down to uh, the money that goes into doing that. You also realize, Tiger actually pointed this out, is the money also has to come from taxes. It doesn't come yeah. out of the who's, ether. Whose money? I, I mean, largely, the people the people who benefit most from a educated population are rich people and entrepreneurs. I mean, let's be real. None of us want a bunch of fucking idiots running around our society, right? right. True. Too late. That's all we yeah, did with a, fucking also. IPA. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm just I mean, pointing out how uh, IPA like, was agreeing with me. I'm yeah. I'm not an anarcho-capitalist. I don't think that. I mean, uh, uh, taxation is a theft is a meme as much as I joke about it. I'm not an anarcho-capitalist. Okay, there are some shit we need to pay for. The government is useful in a limited capacity. I I think I IPA I like you a lot. And I can say I can say I, I I think I think you and I agree on an awful lot of issues when we get down to you it. You and I probably agree on a lot of what the issues are. How we fix them is probably where we're going to disagree. <laughs> probably my, my thing is like, uh, is but like... don't worry, comrade. I'll, I'll I'll keep you safe during the revolution. Okay. 
is, Akami. is like <laughs> formulating, I don't know, formulating my arguments I would formulate over like efficacy of a certain thing, a certain uh, united interest, right? So like IPA might be for like, uh, you know, uh, having an educated populace, what have you. In general, people might be that for in general, but I think it's better to show like the uh, the return on investment that we'd all have. You know, like that's why mm -hmm. I focus on like uh, the amount these people would probably pay in taxes if they're more educated down the line. Because it's like uh, that's where I feel like ideologies like clash. Whereas at some point, someone will say, "I don't really care if this person's doing well. You know, if they wanted to do better, they should have like worked harder, mm -hmm. or they should have done something harder." But to incentivize those uh, those individuals, you have to show how it'd be to their benefit. So that's like where I where I go with this stuff. So like there's yeah, so to here. your point, to your point, Wiggle. Again, going back to like hey, the let's good get night. Of, let's good get night. see you then. Let's get rid of yeah. these BS degrees because and not BS as in bachelors of science, but just these fucking ridiculous degrees that don't show any worth or, or, or any additional value to society other than, well, I went to college. I have a degree. Therefore I get this job. That's, you know, like let's get rid of those things. And again, that data already exists. All of these venture capitalists, all these companies, all of these investment firms that are doing these income share agreements already have all that data. It exists. So get just rid use of it. Drama classes. No, I, I agree with you to an extent, uh, to extent, I think there's certain degrees that, uh, I see and I say like, why, why, why do our public, uh, why does our public education system, uh, cater or spend money, allocated money to these things, uh, if they're not going to be to the benefit of the students to some large degree, keep that, leave that to like a uh, private, private universities or private schools. Uh, well, well, yeah, that's, I mean, you just hit it on now. The reason these degrees exist is because there is public funding for it. And unfortunately, public funding does not have a preference per se, uh, where it, in the hands of the government. Whereas if say, the, if it came from a student, even if he got a loan for it, um, it, it would basically, it would, uh, if the loan came from private hands, like a private loan, which of course is, you have to think about returns, think about investment. It would then cater towards the degrees that are effective and all that. You don't get that same thing from a public loan or public funding. Uh, Tiger, go ahead. Tiger. So, like, this is this is like an, another example of people who w like waste money to get degrees. That's why I say we should limit what degrees we're willing to pay for with our taxes. My sister's friend has a master's degree in um, graphical design. She doesn't. She yeah, master's yeah. degree, two hundred thousand yeah, dollars in yeah, debt. Yeah. She could work for an advertisement co company, and probably make close to what I make. You know, after a couple of years. But you want to know what she does? She sells fucking AT and T phones. Okay, Is but my her degree right? could Someone's... be useful, right? Someone's... I mean, my her degree, degree could be useful, but Ooh. she's not using it. Someone's and complaining she... about our mics being messed up. Is it but my that mic? Is no, it you sound fine. Is it my mic? No, you sound, you sound fine. fine on my end. Dalton sounds fine. What about me? me? No, All of us everybody sounds fine. fine on my end. Person. Sorry, continue. But Tiger, the point is that's an individual who choose who chose not to use that education. Okay, I'm also an individual that chose not to use my education. Now, in terms of income, I'm reversed. I make about four times what I would have with my master's degree. But that's that's beside the point. The point is we chose not to use that education. That doesn't mean that that education wasn't worthwhile overall. Is like statistically speaking. Yeah, yeah you, you don't. It comes down to I. Design. You, yeah. you could get you could be good with a bachelor's like uh uh i have a sibling that is employed in the industry went to a private school for this and like, only has a bachelor degree degree and is, degree, degree and no is making bank them. versus going for a master's there's, right it, it, yeah like uh in economics of like education if you look into that like they'll, they'll show like efficacy of like getting a master's degree in certain fields and uh you could you could really look at it and see what 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 is going to be your return for getting a master's in certain things certain things like you're kind of forced into it um, like, uh, certain degrees, like if you're trying to go into something like psychiatry or something, perhaps like for perhaps... the record, in case anyone's wondering, no, it's not that I make just astronomical amounts of money. It's more so a function of the fact that being a therapist doesn't pay all that well. So, but, uh, and it's yeah, also like, due to the fact I make more money than IPA, a master's for graphic design. <laughs> I just going to fuck with you, dude. 
I, I do have to say, though, that I think that there are a lot of arguments in favor of liberal uh, degrees that people don't typically, or liber liberal arts degrees that a lot of people just don't typically, like, think about. Like, uh, when you're talking about, like, an advertising campaign for a, a company, like, holy shit, you're going to need graphic designers, you're going to need directors, you're going to need makeup people, you're going to need actors, you're going to need all of these yeah. other things and components that enable you to do your job better. And likewise, when it comes to like English students or whatever, or communications, people who go into those ma majors, like, yeah, you're going to need people to write your copy for you because, yeah, you might be really good at business, but a lot of people who are good at business they're really shitty at writing things. And I know that because I've had to edit their copy before. So why do you think I hire a why do you think I hired a lawyer to write up my lease agreements for all my tenants? Well, exactly. Yeah, that's more exactly. Of a, that's more of a yeah, that's more of a law of, of a uh, That's more of a protecting my yeah. ass so I don't get sued. And like you 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 would want to do that, right? Because like the lawyer has that expertise. And the same goes for like people who go into uh liberal arts fields. They just have a different expertise that is not as um, one to one, like you know, as, as like an engineering degree. Yeah, you know, for and example. they should be subsidized. Less sure, well. and 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 I get where like there are some degrees that lead into other things, right? Uh, for example, you, you know, you brought up people who write copy. A friend of mine actually does that for a living. Um, but she in, she she majored in English, which led into her getting a JD and being a, a fucking attorney that writes copy. Mm -hmm. uh, but the degree in English on its own, outside of the function of being a lawyer that writes copy, wasn't all that functional. I mean, like, I, I can speak as somebody who has a degree in both English and medieval history. Like, yeah, my, my degree, not as applicable not as applicable to a lot of things. Um, That's cool. As, like, an engineering yeah, degree. But, like... Functionally, yeah. Right. Yeah, and, so and I get it, about... but... There are these, these. This is something that has made me better able to do a lot of the things that I do right now. Um, I, I'll get to you, Tiger. Uh, just let me finish my thought. Um, that like, I make my living writing things, and I have for like a decade, and talking and communicating, and like all of these different skills, and using analyses that I learned in like pursuing my degree and using the skills that I got for that. So like there's a whole lot of knock-on effects that might not necessarily correlate one to one but uh have been hugely beneficial to me in my life. And um yeah, I like I I know that's anecdotal, but I think that in a wider sense um having subsidizing for all all degrees has these knock-on effects that we might not necessarily be able to predict. 